We're gonna be running soldier again, except this time we're gonna be defending on King's Row. <laughs> Do they actually have a Torbjorn? I mean, that's an interesting pick, but I'm not surprised. Just because ever since that patch came out, he's been getting his armor pack over time rather than having to pick up scrap. Uh, yeah, he can still pick up scrap and it'll give him like 15, 20 out of 200, but he builds it over time and it really does help him throw out a lot more. So, uh, will that be effective enough? I don't know, but we'll see. I guess it depends on how good of a Torbjorn he is. You don't really hear anyone ever saying that, but... Okay, so right there, the reason I didn't run away is because I kind of already knew I was going to die. I probably wasn't going to get away from the Reinhardt the way he just ran in like that. So I was trying to get the McCree with the Helix Rocket, maybe make a trade fix, but it didn't work out, but you know, it was worth a shot. Alright, they're getting a lot of picks on us, actually. I don't know if we're going to be able to stall this out. Okay, this... Santa's really low on everything. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know how I hit that one. Alright, uh, I think we stopped their push for now. They got one third of it, but that's fine. As long as our Reinhardt can come back, we can really hold, hold this for a lot longer. I'm hearing all these high moon and widow snipers. Widow sniper, that's awesome. Widow maker snipes. Okay, let's pop it. Okay, we may have died, but we got three picks right there. So, hoping, hoping we can come in and clean up, but. Ah, uh, this, this Widow maker is good. Or at least I have a feeling she's really good. Alright, they capped it. That's fine. Um. I think half the team is here already, so we should be able to hold at this, at this corner. Wow, our Reinhardt just got a, uh, a fire strike kill on that Widowmaker. You don't see that often, to be honest. That thing goes so slowly that you, you can just walk out of the way and nothing will happen to you. Oh, Ingeal? Okay, I'm actually a bit surprised that he even got stunned. Because it looked like he wasn't even in the way, and two, he was kind of jumping. Oh, yeah, that thing is gonna that thing's gonna be a bit annoying from time to time, I guess, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so, I mean, they have a lot of momentum right now, and there's five minutes actually on the clock, so... Uh, I mean, as long as we could get maybe a stop, like, right here, before they get to the second checkpoint, it, it should even out and give us much more manageable time. Everyone, heal up. Um, okay, that, that actually worked out really well. Uh, I, I Right after I destroyed that turret, the, the Torbjorn used his Molten Core, and it's kind of useless unless you don't have that turret. Oh! Okay, I think that Reinhardt just saved them and got them there. Second trip. Yeah, this is going pretty bad, actually. Yeah, 6 minutes, 15 seconds. This is, this is gonna be a tough one. Especially the way they're going right now. I mean, we're, we're still dying. It's not like that. It's not like we're trading. Our Reinhardt is a super aggressive Reinhardt. I will say that, though. Every time I've seen him, he's mainly just jumped in. Oh! I can sleep dark. Ah, uh, this is bad. I, I hope they don't just keep doing this to us. Oh my god. Okay, that, that, that just saved us. If she didn't get that, right there, that triple or quad or whatever it was, they would have probably pushed it all the way. Yeah, props to that power, man. She, she just saved me. Alright, um, I do have my tack visor, so it's good. Holy... Okay, I knew this Widowmaker was good, but I wasn't expecting... Wow, she hit me while jumping. That was, that was a nice shot. Oh my god, she killed the Hanzo as well. Okay, that Widowmaker is definitely something to watch out for. 
Now I do have my tack visor, and I know I haven't used it in a little while, but to be honest, there really hasn't been any good use for it. Oh, the Widowmaker killed me again, actually. What? I've tried to her three times in a row now. Okay, alright. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the best way to use tack visor is, is when there's only, like, non-tank enemies in front of you, like right now. But yeah. See, like, if there's a Reinhardt in front of you, oh my god, this Widowmaker. She just keeps killing me. And it's every time I'm trying to talk about the freaking tactical visor, I can't even get into it. Okay, hopefully I can survive this time. But like I was saying, if any of you out there play Soldier or want to pick up Soldier, you definitely want to use your tactical visor wisely. I mean, that's like any ult realistically, but the best way to use it is when the tanks are either dead or their abilities are done. Like, if there's a Reinhardt in front of you, you're not going to do anything. Too. Attack Visor doesn't give you any extra damage, it doesn't give you any boost, if anything, it just auto aims, which is good, but uh, you're not going to burn through a shield or anything. Diva is the worst, because she can hold her thing up for 10 seconds and your Attack Visor basically lasts for like around 10 seconds. So you always use it when the tanks, are, when their uh, tank abilities are on cooldown, or there aren't any tanks. Like if you watch me play, I'm... I don't really use it if the Reinhardt's in front of me, because I know realistically, once they hear that attack visor go off, everyone's going to hide behind shield, and I'm not going to be able to do anything. So it's, it's a really good ult for clearing out enemies quickly, you just have to really time it. Okay, so while I was going through that little attack visor thing, we actually made up a lot of ground, like, we're, we're pushing up really far now, and they have to, yeah, I mean, they're getting kind of... Still kind of getting kills and everything, but we're holding them really well. And I'm about to get my second attack by the back. Alright, this is good. I, I see that Widowmaker, I'm really trying to hide behind this Reinhardt field, because I know she can hit shots. I've seen her hit some nice shots on me, so... Let's see if I can take it inside. Wait, where'd she go? This is kind of risky. Yeah. Oh, she's right there. Yeah, I don't know what this Zarya is trying to do. But... I know she's still up there. I'm, I'm... Ah, that was a good wall. Can't even get to them now. Yes, let's go. Oh, right, right. Oh, I didn't think he would actually come from the side. I mean, I did kill, I think, their maid, so... Uh, they, uh, they probably won't be able to push too easily. Oh, our Widowmaker just took out theirs. Okay, that's, that's always a good sign. Alright, there's like a minute 40 left, roughly. Nice. I don't know what you're trying to do with that. Yeah, McCree's ult is like the same thing, you really don't want to use it when there's tanks because there's like a 5 second lock on time for tanks and if they turn around, most of the time you're not going to be able to get your kills off, I mean your shots off. And that little maker is... Oh no! Oh my god, are you serious? I, I was trying to dodge the fire strike that was coming towards you, so I jumped to the side and I completely forgot, there's like a freaking hole there, like a ledge that you can fall through actually. Alright, whatever, at least it didn't cause me, okay, at least it didn't let the uh, enemy team push me. Ooh, that was such a nice charge, he was about to do like a sick hammer down, I probably would have gone through them. Alright, um... With this, with this much time left, they probably only have about one push, so I'm going to save this attack visor for that, and hopefully we can close out this game. I'm actually really shocked right now. Uh, the way they were pushing it, I really thought they were just going to have it. Okay, he's so low, I don't think he's going to bother from him. Oh yeah, that's another staggered death.
Oh, shit. No one can hide. No! Oh, come on. <laughs> I was trying to close the game out. No, I'm not gonna close it. <laughs> That's just sad. Oh, okay. Actually, I mean, look at that. Team kill. Oh, that was, that was a nice game. Um, I'm kind of surprised we won just because of the amount of time they had and the amount of momentum they had. Okay, I was really expecting our, the Pharah that we had on our team to get it, but hey, any play on our team is good, right? Oh. Okay, yeah, that was nice. I guess it stopped their push. Okay, we did we did 16,000 damage. Um, most of that was realistically on the Reinhardt shield. It's not like I killed a bunch of things. I mean, we did get gold limbs, but it, it was a good team game. Like our our Zenyatta and our I guess switching back and forth, Hanzo and Snow, Widowmaker did did a lot of work as well. So kudos to everyone on that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't uploaded consistently in a while, but. I definitely got a lot more videos coming out. I'm going to be looking to do more tutorial type videos now for character play styles, like the characters that I play personally, and uh, a bit more. Like the other characters I haven't really explored yet, and just show you guys how you could play them on a really high level. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that play characters and are probably really good with them, but there's those few things that you could do that could just take you from, say, gold or platinum all the way to diamond, and hey, you could even make that jump to master. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you all on the next one.